What's up LMS fans, my name is Rex and welcome back to yet another video and today I'll be doing a full in-depth review on Treadwell the Digger but without further ado let's get started. So in this video I'll be going over five sections all relating to Treadwell which is teasers and info, release, gameplay, lore, and overall rating. Uh, first I'll be going over teasers and inf info uh, Treadwell's description, what he is, um, and of course his past before he was released. Treadwell the Digger has been teased two times before Treadwell was released in April 6, 2021. Well, what were those teasers? Well, the first one was stated by Siebert when he told us three character ideas that he had in the works. A rock thrower, a digger, and a shield maiden. The next teaser was teased in December 2020 when the Roboto Game social media has posted this image that uh, shows some unreleased characters that they're teasing. Um, of course, Treadwell's already been released, but the Shield Maiden is yet to be released, hopefully coming soon. Uh, this image sent a shockwave throughout the community. Everybody was hyped for this character, and so was I, and we got it eventually in April 2021. And yeah, that's that. but. We're gonna go into the uh, generic info about Treadwell, how you can unlock him, what's his description mean, and who is it. So Treadwell is a uh, mole, mole rat, I guess, who has these metal gloves that help him dig faster when he's underground. And um, in the description it states that he has a bunch of martial prowess, and uh, he doesn't know why things can't be settled by a cup of tea. Treadwell has also been confirmed to be a British chap by uh, the developers, though they edited the message after saying that he is British inspired, so Britain is not canon to the last Mage Dying lore. We do know that there's two places, Koluma and Sola, which more lore is yet to be revealed. But anywho, Treadwell is a uh, tank, which is, the which is uh, what's stated on uh, his, his description. And uh, I really love this character. When I get into a gameplay, I'll explain this more. But basically, his, I guess, thing is he can dig underground, escaping most attacks. And he can quick, quick get a raise, tap, catch up to people. You know, there's lots of things. He's a very versatile uh, ability. But the only way you can unlock this character as of right now, I don't know if this will be changed, but you have to get to at least 4,000 medals in Metal Road in order to unlock this character. Uh, it's always been this way, at least uh, until now, June 2021. And thankfully, I got him very early. I, I think I was one of the first people to unlock him. Same thing with Gutterin. And, um, yeah. Let's get into release. And, uh, what was the overall opinion for everybody? Shadow was released on April 6, 2021. And the public had a very good opinion on Treadwell because in the past releases of characters such as Gutterin were never received. But thankfully Treadwell was uh, balanced, I guess you could say. But over time it got to the point where people didn't think it was balanced because of his high health and his okay damage. Uh, and I think that's part due to the fact that you don't really see Treadwell over that often and when you do play with Treadwell He's a very unknown character, because like, you don't play with him that often, right? So, and you don't see him that often, right? So like, you, you don't, you're not used to him, you don't know what he's gonna do, how you can kill him. So that's why maybe a lot of players die? I'm not sure. The, the developers have been saying, I remember once he said in their analytics, that Treadwell has a very low win rate, or doesn't get as much wins as other Guardians. Uh, and, uh, I don't know, I've... I've made this, I'm making this video very late from his release because I didn't know if they were going to buff or nerf him, but as of right now it seems like they aren't just yet, but we'll just have to wait in the future just like when I've made the Gutterman review, the Gutterman review sucked, I'm just going to put that out there, it's horrible, um, but when it was out there I kind of think she was okay, but you know she's gotten a little bit better because now she has a, but she's gotten buffed and nerfed and all of that stuff, and with that, Let's get into gameplay. Now, in Last Mage Standing, I'm not really that into like all the 
but like this like the you know like health and tactics you can use like there's just tactics in my head that I don't really think of and I'm not really like the tactic guy you know I don't play this game all for the tactics I play this game just to have fun and um so yeah this 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 section is going to be very bad but please forgive me so there are a few tactics you can use with treadmill the first one is the hit and run tactic hit and run tactic is when you hit you dash around you hit again keep on coming from different angles and it may be possible to defeat your foe i use this ability a lot or this tactic with treadmill very often and it's what i usually use uh, the second tactic is the ambush tactic where you follow them from behind and then you come out from under from under a building and then you start attacking them you get the element of surprise which is also a very good tactic and the last tactic is just playing regularly just like going around and just swiping right like you know how you play boards you know it's uh, it's, it's a very it's a very basic tactic i guess you could say and if I had to rate these tactics, I would choose the first tactic, which is the hit and run tactic. It is so useful and so fun to use because you're using all these little dashes. So just in case you ever get low, you can run off. Uh, this this character is very good at running away. Uh, it's my favorite because of that. Because I'm not the best at this game, so I, I, I get low very often. But what I good, what I'm very good at is running away from my problems. And uh, Treadwell is no different. I love this guy. He's amazing. He's my main now. I used to say Pyro was my main, but I've changed it. Pyro's like my second, and Treadle's my first. But I think maybe in the future it will get nerfed, so maybe it'll switch back to Pyro. But this, if you're still watching this video, that means you're a dedicated fan. And uh, leave in the comments below do you want me to rebrand the Treadle or do you want me to keep the Pyro? I'm not going to give my personal opinion on this, just put it in the comments below. Put Treadle or Pyro in the comments below. Alright. And gameplay wise, yeah, uh, Treadwell has uh, like okay damage, lots of health, so actually has very low health. I'm not sure, <laughs> this video sucks so bad, I'm so sorry. It'll, his stats will be on the screen right now, but this character is okay in the, in the health department and damage apart department. He also takes like 5, maybe 4 or 5 hits, even with a level 7 Treadwell. So, um... Yeah, I, I didn't really experience how he was like at like level 1 or 2 because uh, he coalesced with Metal Road and Berserk, so um, I used all my Guardian Scrolls with him, so I didn't really experience him low level. But yeah, let's get into lore. Lore-wise, Triple doesn't really have a lot of lore just yet, you know, maybe in the future they'll give him a proper backstory, because this is just like a a humanoid animal running rampant I mean he must have a species and if there are if there are like animal characters that's to be other animal characters so this opens like a whole new section of guardians that, that you can take from animal guardians uh, and I've suggested a minotaur guardian that would like you know like paw at the ground and like he, it's like a he would ram into things the more you hold down the more power he would have and you know, like grab him with the boulder anyway well, Treadwell doesn't have a lot of lore, it just shows that there's animal characters, which are which is cool, I guess. And, um, lore-wise, he doesn't really have a lot of lore. Uh, um, yeah, he's a sophisticated chap who's British. Yeah, so lore section, very bad. Not a lot of lore for this guy, and that's something that I'm going to have to consider in my overall rating of this Guardian. Because I'm a like a fan of lore very much and let's get into the overall rating in my opinion Treadwell is one of the best guardians in this game uh, right behind you know Boris and Kandira uh, Treadwell is I like him a lot uh, and the developers I think took their time with Treadwell and that's a good thing because this character came out kind of balanced I mean we haven't really like seen any overpowered like tactics with Treadwell. He has his flaws, which is the fact that he takes a long time to start digging again. The fact that he has a, a he um you know isn't the best damage dealer, but he's still one of my favorite characters in this game, and that's why I'll be giving Treadwell a rating of Dremel please nine out of ten. But I hope you enjoyed this boring video. Consider subscribing. 
uh, I'm uh, releasing a new video called uh, Top 10 Useless Last Mage Standing Facts. I hope you enjoy that one because there's lots of things that you may have not known about this game. But it's been Rex, and I'll see you guys again later. Bye bye.